Hey guys, it is Caramel K. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a quick 20 minute slay for back to school. I wanted to whip up something together that is my go-to look for when I'm going to classes that I know I have a long day ahead of me. So I did this super cute like double corn row slick back bun with the cute little crisscross because this is like a trend now. Um, and then I just did my go-to look. It really just is all about skin and looking fresh. This is just like a big tips and tricks on how to look cool but still comfortable and you know, flex on the kids in your classes. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I am reporting to you live with the satin scarf on, okay? Because this hairstyle is such a look. When I tried this out last semester, I was like, wow, I'm sold. I have to tell the fit. I'm like, I have to put them on. So basically, you're going to start out with a fresh fro. You know, you don't want dirty hair for this because it's a protective style. You're probably going to be wearing it for a couple days for school. It's super convenient to have a hairstyle that you don't have to touch up every single day or curls you don't have to redo every day. So doing this is the perfect, perfect thing for school, especially when you're running late because you don't have to do your hair every day. So you're going to split your hair into a middle part and then you're just going to do two braids going straight back on the left and the right of that middle part. Then when you're done with that, you're going to just take some water and a hard brush and slick that hair back, honey. Okay, my hair is thick and we need to lay this drawn down in multiple steps. So I used water and then I'm going to use my main choice style, slick it back again. You can see I'm smoothing my hair down with the brush and then with my hand so that I can reinforce the slayage, you know? Um, and then I'm just pulling my hair back and as I'm pulling it back, I'm squeezing it into the bun so that it can all stay nice and tight and together. Then I'm just going to use any regular regular hair tie um, and put this hair into a pony later on in a bun but you can totally wear in a pony if you want as well but keep in mind that if you don't know how to braid to the scalp you can totally flat twist or do you know something else if you're not adequate in braiding it just takes time um, but yeah now our edges are maintained by the main choice okay but you know, put that scarf on and then, you know, we're going to continue getting ready. So with the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer, this is my fave. I apply under my eyes and my cheeks because these are my problem areas. I have so much texture here. So this is going to make everything else look super smooth and have the makeup latch onto it. So now I'm using the Maybelline Better Skin Foundation. I really like this foundation because it has sunscreen in it and it doesn't give me flashback and it's the perfect shade to match my tan right now so i concentrated the product on my cheeks because like i said those are my problem areas and then smoothed out the rest of the product elsewhere on my face so now i'm using my sephora bright gel future serum concealer i think i said that right but this concealer is so good. It was $12. If you want a cheaper one that's like a dupe, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer works just as good. My camera played me and it didn't catch me blending it out. But can you see the coverage? No dark circles. Okay, we are not going to be exposed for our late nights. Now, I'm just going to use that same concealer to brighten up a little pimple situation I was having. You know, it happens. You're putting your hair on your face. You're sleeping on the desk. Like, it happens. And so now we're going to use this awesome powder. I love this powder. It was $8. It's L'Oreal True Match. So good. And it's just going to, you know, set that makeup. And then I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Powder with this little tulip brush from e.l.f. And I'm setting the highlighted areas because I really love this powder because of the coverage. And it looks really light. It doesn't accentuate texture or anything. It just is going to set perfectly without being too bright or without having to bake. Because who wants to bake for school? So now I'm using this MAC blush and I love it because it's berry toned and it just makes me look super flushed and awake. Now I'm using my MAC Fix Plus, but you can totally use any drugstore setting spray that you like. I prefer the e.l.f. one as a drugstore option. Now I'm using my Bare Minerals highlighter. I love this highlighter. The e.l.f. baked blushes, bronzers, or highlighters work amazing as highlighters as well and they're like three bucks. So this is my go-to school brow. I fill in my tail and then I just add some hairs in the front, spoolie it out, and boom, you have a brow sis. And I used eyeshadow for this. So save that coin, pop out your favorite brown shadow, 
and fill in those brows. So now I'm just putting on some mascara, you know, something to make the eyes pop a little bit so that we look awake, like we weren't out all night or spending all night, you know, whatever you do, sis. And now I am just taking that same highlighter, putting it in my inner corner to furthermore brighten up my face. Setting my face one more time for the kids, making sure everything is nice and melted together so that you don't look cakey at any point throughout the day, okay, whether it's first or last period. And now I'm just putting on my Blistex because I feel like not putting on a lip color really just puts the look together and makes it natural. And now for the hair, okay? We had the double scarves in here. I was not playing around with my edges, okay? This is the look. The two cornrows don't come for me. They're a little crooked, but it does the job. That is my easy 20 minute slay for college, high school, middle school, whatever school you are going back to this fall. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any back to school beauty tips when you're in a rush, make sure you leave them down below. And I will see you guys in my next